welcome to this video in this video we are going to talk about speed how you can calculate speed as far as earth geometry is concerned now the first thing which you must know is the formula for the speed the formula for the speed is a formula which we know under physics and any concept of calculation as far as speed is concerned it's speed you know that speed is equal to distance distance over time so this is the formula to use with calculating speed. So now this distance, you must know how to calculate this distance of which we have taught you on how to calculate distance along the longitude and the latitude. Time calculation from the previous video, we concentrated on time calculation. So it's, this simply means that speed is done. Very simple there. Okay, so now because of this, I've got an example for you to enjoy, okay? So the example is saying that the diagram below shows the A surface. Take the distance between D to E to be this in nautical miles and this in kilometers. So I've got D and E. This is the group there. So what I've done is I've already given you the distance from D to E in nautical miles and in kilometers. Because I know we know how to calculate that distance of which this question is actually the previous question on the exercise which we had on the calculation of distance along the latitude. Very simple there. Okay. Then it's saying that, given that it takes a plane 10 hours, 10 hours to move from point D to point E. In terms of how to calculate time, I've already taught you. I believe you know. But if I tell you I've got any challenges, please get in touch with us in a class. We'll be there to help you out. Okay. So this is a time calculation. Now, it's saying that it takes a plane 10 hours to move from point D to point E. Calculate the speed of the plane in kilometers. So let's calculate the speed of the plane in kilometers. Kilometers, okay. So we know that speed, speed is equal to distance, distance over time. Remember, the formula is very important as a first step for you to start when you want to enjoy the calculation. Okay, so this is the formula of which we know that the distance in kilometers is what? It's 10,221.19 kilometers over time taken, you see, 10 hours, 10 hours like this. Okay, so what you must also know is that sometimes you may not be given the distance they have given it to you. You may require it to calculate. You may be required to calculate for it of which those have been already been covered on the latitude and longitude. Please revisit those videos if I told you of course those challenges. Okay. So now here it's just a matter of us dividing. So when you divide 10 into your numerator, you are going to have 1022.19 kilometers per hour. Remember that this is the units for speed, which I taught you in the first videos on the introductory of what? Earth geometry. Hope you do remember those concepts. Okay. So th that is the answer in kilometers per hour. Okay. Very simple there. So now let's go to the next example, which is in the notes. Okay. Notes. Right. Very simple. Very simple. So question two is saying we give our answer in what? In notes. Now, what is notes? In the previous video, in fact, I can say in the first video, I taught you about the SAI units which are commonly used. So we discussed that notes is just nautical miles per hour. So please don't get confused if you hear notes. Notes is just simple nautical miles per hour. No special animal there. Okay. So now speed. Speed is equal to distance over time. Of which the distance in nautical miles, we have got 5,514.95 nautical miles divided by the time taken, which is 10 hours. So when we divide, what are we going to have? So we are, we are going to have 551.495 nautical miles per hour. Now, I say that not come up the hour, it's the same as what? Not. Therefore, we're going to say, if I let me enjoy it from here, okay. Therefore, speed, speed is equal to, okay, 
five knots. Very, very simple way of calculating speed. And I hope you have understood the concept to use as far as calculating the speed. In summary, if you want to know the speed, first calculate the distance, thereafter calculate the time, and then divide. Divide them and enjoy them. By the way, this is the last video and the last subtopic of earth geometry. And I hope you have followed from where we started up to where we have ended today. So if at all you have got any challenge on the whole topic, please get in touch with us. We'll be there for you in the class to clarify each and every query and each and every question which you are having. Make sure that you also be there for the next topic in which we'll be enjoying as you are preparing you for the exam in the area of mathematics. Thank you very much.